Hello all and welcome to another video and today we're going to be looking at something just a little bit different. Yes, we're going to be looking at this demo disc here. This rather unusual little demo disc. Now recently I bought a lot of PlayStation 1 and PlayStation 2 games off a mate of mine. Amongst it was a load of demo discs, but amongst those demo discs was this rather unusual demo disc. The Blockbuster PlayStation Challenge. Now it's, it's unlike any other demo disc, although it does appear like some of the demo discs do. With just this being this black disc with this particular font on which they use. And at the bottom there it does say demo only, not for resale. Obviously it... Well, it came in this case when I bought it, but it can't have come in that case. this case originally. It is literally just a bog standard CD case that my friend must have found. Did it come in a cardboard sleeve or did it come in its own case? I would imagine it did. There's, there's no way a disc would generally be supplied loose. Or was it indeed in something else? And it was something obviously like a dual case or something and you took it out. I really don't know. But the disc really grabbed my interest and it's one of the first things that I whipped into the system as soon as I bought the bundle lot. And on it is basically a very brief short version of a racing game which I can only imagine you had to submit your best time and enter the Blockbuster PlayStation Challenge. And this was the disc that they provided you with the with the ability to be able to do that basically so with all that and with what i've told you already it's an interesting piece and even to look at it running as well just a couple of little quirky little pieces in there like the blockbuster logo and things like that and just the way it runs it runs one lap of the game perfectly but it's just the way that it ends and then that's it basically so yes with all that let's uh let's whip it in the system and show you indeed what the blockbuster playstation challenge demo disc contains So disc is in the system and it's indeed time to show you what is on the Blockbuster Challenge PlayStation demo disc. Now I've done a little bit of research into this and I found it quite fascinating so I'm just going to share some of that detail with you as to what this disc actually is. Now this disc was distributed to 600 Blockbuster stores however not all of them took part in it and it is unknown actually how many were actually made in the first place yet alone how many actually got out of the stores because they were never made available to the public now you might have guessed the logo here it is rage racer on this disc is one lap of this game and what you had to do was be a certain time in order to qualify for the finals of the blockbuster challenge playstation tournament now if you beat the time and qualified you would then also then go on to have to be what was the fastest time in that specific store. And then all the fastest times from all the stores that took part, because not all of them did actually take part by what I've read, would then go on to the fi some finals that were held in London. Don't know exactly where, but apparently it's just listed as somewhere near Covent Garden. Okay, so the finals would then turn up to that tournament, play another game, but they had no idea what the game would be when they turned up. Turned out it was the newly released at the time, Crash Bandicoot 2. Now, the winner of that tournament then won or went on to win a copy of the game, brand new game at the time, brand new release, and also got a holiday to San Francisco as well, which is, let's face it, it's not too shabby. But as you'll see from the screen here loading up, we've got a nice little sort of... Uh, made logo for the disc with the blockbuster logo at the top playstation logo at the bottom and obviously what the tournament is in the middle it looks like it's just about to enter a demo mode but as i say it's absolutely fascinating because all i can think of is that my friend must have worked in blockbuster because that is how he got hold of this disc because they were never made available to the public again no idea how many we've produced to start with no idea how many are out there but some have obviously got out there i found other copies of this game online so mine isn't the only one that exists i would never think that anyway but i wouldn't even say it was valuable either but it's just certainly a nice little quirky piece to have so with that let's press start now and actually get on to showing you the one lap of rage racer that is on there and how it runs basically and it runs perfect to how the game would play i would say and obviously rage racer is considered part of the Ridge Racer franchise. In fact, it is part of the Ridge Racer franchise, so it looks an awful lot like that. But here we go. Yes, produced by the good people of Namco, obviously, and we're going to press start now. And being as, obviously, the same rules had to apply to everybody because it's a contest, the track comes up here. That is unchangeable. Like I'm pressing every part of the D-pad now. It's not changing. I'm pressing X now to move on. This is the car select screen. Again, 
pressing all directions on the D-pad, nothing is happening. So basically it's fixed to a track, it's fixed to a car, and it's one lap of this Grand Prix here. Music is selected to random as well, so you can't even choose that. So there you go, obviously, you see this, looks a hell of a lot like Ridge Racer, especially that woman there walking with the board. So let's have one quick lap of this. Now, if you look top right, there's a record that is 1 minute 40. Not quite sure if that is the time that you have to beat, but I would guess it is. Bottom left, there is a time limit, which is set to 10 minutes. So let's be honest with you. You ain't going to fail to finish it, I would imagine. So there we go. We've uh, slid around that corner and for some reason perhaps made contact with that car, which is why I was juddering then. Up to a nice left. So I tend to decelerate around corners rather than actually press the brake button. Probably not the best tactic, but I'm not the greatest at racing games. But we've overtaken two cars. I mean, yeah, you, you start last, but there's no way you're going to finish first in one lap. Big jump. But uh, we're, going, we're approaching ninth as well. I'm going to hit the oh, tap brake there, and I managed to avoid contact with the wall, but slid both ways. And here we go. We've got a car in my rear view mirror there. And we're 40 seconds in, 48, 49, 50 seconds in. Bit of a chicane there. Hit something again. Up the hill. Bell left. There we go. Through a very small rock tunnel. Sharp left. We're going to drift around this corner and all. Now we've got a hairpin. This is going to be a bugger. Not... Oh dear, awful. Through a very Ridge Racer-esque tunnel. We've got, what, 23 seconds now to get to the end. This bit here reminds me of OutRun with those concrete pillars going over the top. There we go, around this bend. We did press brake then. Right, we've made it around that corner. Oh, are we going to finish in under 1 minute 40? That would be nice if we have. Okay, so we have 1 minute 34. But it still says too bad, game over. So how you recorded your time, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, if you press start again, will it still say 1 minute 34? Did you have to take a picture of the screen? I guess that because this was in store, actually, somebody would have been adjudicating, perhaps, watching. All I'm going to do quickly now is I'm just going to press start and see if my time has been saved or if, indeed, it just refreshes. Because if it stays in the system and saves your time, then the next guy then knows what he has to beat to be the fastest time in that store. But also under 140. Yeah, I never get... Don't really understand why you had to be the fastest time, and yet there was a qualifying time as well. Or perhaps they just hid that information from people and said you have to get under 1 minute 40 to stand a chance. Who knows? But it is certainly a very interesting, quirky little piece. I'm really pleased to have it in the collection, and I will be keeping it. There's no way I'm letting this go. I was going to say, it's just such a unique thing, especially with the lack of knowledge behind the quantity figures of, of how many were made and how many were out there. So we're just going to go and press start and see about my time was saved just out of interest. So we'll tap X and skip through these, wait for the race to load and see if it's remembered my time or it literally just does completely refresh itself. Yes, it does. There you go. One minute 40. And that's it. So, ladies and gentlemen, that has been a, a brief look and some shared knowledge of what I've researched into this PlayStation Blockbuster Challenge demo disc. And honestly, I've been totally fascinated by it and I've loved every moment of looking into it and finding out more about this disc as well. So, ladies and gentlemen, all that leaves me to say now is thank you very much indeed for watching. And as always, take care.